Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna with Hasna's Nat Me and today we're talking about as you can see and you've guessed it we're talking about the mesentery and this time we're talking about the mesentery proper which means the mesentery of the small intestine all right so basically uh, your small intestine we all know that begins uh, with the duodenum then it goes all the way to the jejunum and ileum the intestine is basically suspended within your abdominal cavity via this mesentery right except for the duodenum because the duodenum is a retroperitoneal structure we've already discussed that so the mesentery of the small intestine is a broad fan shaped fold of peritoneum that is suspending the coils of jejunum and ileum this is the definition of mesentery all right so let's get right into the attachments and some contents of this mesentery before i get started those of you who are new do not forget to subscribe to my channel because i make anatomy a piece of cake so let's go ahead and talk about how the mesentery is attached so the mesentery has two attachments now it has one free border and second it has a root the root is in other words the attached border of the mesentery so to understand the mesentery's borders i would like to use the example of a scarf and that is because the mesentery is quite large right because it has to suspend all those loops so the first part is the attached border which is basically the root so the me let's suppose there is the posterior abdominal wall this root is basically going downwards and obliquely and it is attached to basically anchor your entire the rest of the part of the mesentery right so this is the attached border forming the root of the mesentery from where it is suspending and in front of it is like a 6 meter long intestinal border and it is all pleated just like that it covers the entire surface and from from here all the intestine is essentially attached to this area it's kind of difficult to visualize the root because this entire pleated free intestinal border is attached here and this is like 6 meters long and 6 meter long the reason it's fitted inside is because of its folds right over here your entire small intestine will be attached to this so it is anchored because of the root free border of the mesentery is thrown into pleats so this you can see here it's pleated or it's folded even further this is the free or intestinal border of the mesentery all right and then there is this border that you cannot see over here it is known as the attached border or it is known as the root of the mesentery now that is a very important concept the root of the mesentery is basically attached like this it is about 15 cm long and it is directed downwards obliquely and towards your right all right so the root of mesentery extends from the duodenojejunal flexure which means where the duodenum becomes the jejunum that flexure and all the way to the upper part of the right sacroiliac joint where the sacrum is forming a joint with the ileum bone of your hip so that is the number one important thing where does the root of the mesentery run from the duodenojejunal flexure all the way up to the sacroiliac joints upper part and it is about 15 cm long now there are a couple of structures that it crosses as it is going towards the right and these structures are you have to remember the mnemonic adwap all right the adwap is the structures that the root of mesentery crosses as it goes towards your down and the right side all right this is where basically your mesentery is attached so that it can suspend your uh, small intestine let's begin with the first structure so we all know that posteriorly obviously structures mostly will be the ones that lie on the posterior abdominal wall so the first structure will be your a for the abdominal aorta all right so the first structure that the mesentery will cross on its way towards there is the aorta the second structure it crosses is the duodenum more specifically the third part of the duodenum where the superior mesenteric vessels enter into it so here comes the aorta and here comes your third part of the duodenum right where the superior mesenteric vessels that are arising from the aorta are entering into the duodenum all right and that's your two structures crossed then we have the v what do you think the v is that stands right next to the aorta in the posterior abdominal wall as you guessed it right it's the inferior vena cava all right the vena cava ivc is lying to the right of aorta and that is the next structure your mesentery will cross next structure is it crosses is another structure of the posterior abdominal wall what do you think it is it is the ureter so the ureter is running over here and that's what it crosses next and it is obviously the ureter of your right side 
and finally it crosses your psoas major muscle basically the muscle of your back lower back so the right psoas major is the final structure it crosses and there you have it that is the root of mesentery now if there's any question that is asking you to define the root of mesentery and writing a note on it you have it on your fingertips let's move on and talk about uh, what are the contents of this mesentery the contents are chiefly obviously there's one thing that the abdomen is very well known for is for storage of fat right so the first content you'll say is the fat the next content is obviously the vessels that have to supply the uh, suspensions of the mesentery what are the suspension of the mesentery or what is the mesentery suspending the jejunum and ileum coils so similarly for the jejunal and ileal branches of the superior mesenteric artery is your very important chief content that is passing through this mesentery to supply the coils of the jejunum and the ileum all right and we all know the superior mesenteric artery is responsible for supplying the midgut so there you have it all right next other contents include your veins your lymphatics, your lymph nodes, your nerve plexuses, autonomic nerve plexuses uh, more specifically in this case. So that's about all you need to know about the mesentery proper. Now what happens is this mesentery proper from its posterior surface and its lower part, it goes below in a triangular peritoneal fold known as the meso appendix. Since we're discussing the mesenteries of the various organs, the meso appendix is is another important peritoneal fold it is basically a triangular fold of the peritoneum which is suspending your appendix which lies about over here which you cannot see in this image it suspends your vermiform appendix and it at times extends up to the tip of the appendix and what does it do contents are all the vessels that are going vessels and uh, nerves going to the uh, appendix area and the next concept we have is the transverse mesocolon this is also mesentery but it is a mesentery of the transverse colon as you can see this transverse colon here you can see this mesentery coming from above and attaching to the posterior side of the transverse colon the root of the transverse mesocolon will be attached to something that is lying behind this colon and that is the pancreas all right so this is how the pancreas is basically this is the tail of pancreas going towards the left the head of the pancreas lying towards the right so it attaches to the anterior surface of the head of the pancreas and then the this is the body of the pancreas so it attaches to the anterior border of the body of the pancreas and it goes all the way till the uh, to the left side and it has a slight inclination all right that means it's elevated it's going above a little bit right this is a horizontal line of attachment of the transverse mesocolon here it goes to the front and it attaches to your transverse colon as you can see right here all right the contents that it carries are the middle colic vessels nerves lymph nodes and then we have another mesentery called the sigmoid mesocolon this suspends the sigmoid colon this is the sigmoid colon right here it suspends it from the posterior abdominal wall carries the sigmoidal vessels with the superior rectal vessels nerves lymph nodes lymphatics etc so that was all you needed to know about the mesentery and the folds of peritoneum in detail we really hope you understood the lecture well. Join me in the next video where I discuss the supracolic and infracolic compartments of your abdominal pelvis. Thank you so much for watching.